Hey guys, JB here. Today, as you can see by the video title of this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you why the sumo deadlift is superior to the conventional deadlift. Um, quite often, quite often it's, it's superior. Now obviously, the title's a bit misleading, maybe a little bit of clickbait, and there are gonna be many lifters who find conventional better, but I'm gonna show you them one major difference that makes the sumo deadlift better and how you need to be performing your sumo deadlifts in order to take advantage of this benefit, I guess you could say. So when you think about the conventional deadlift, that's what we need to do first. So we can understand what makes a conventional deadlift difficult, and then we, think, then we can think about how we can modify our sumo technique to kind of alleviate, I guess, the issue that comes up with conventional deadlifts. So in a conventional deadlift, as most people understand, it tends to be a back posterior chain exercise, and your quadriceps, your knee extensors, don't really contribute to the lift as much as they otherwise could or should. And this is something that you're probably already familiar with. I'm sure you've um, performed conventional deadlift sessions and you've never heard anyone say, oh, if my quadriceps were stronger, I would have gotten that lift. Or the day after a deadlift session, man, my quadriceps are really sore. Because your quadriceps don't really contribute in a conventional deadlift. Um, some people will try to get their quadriceps involved, or their, I guess their knee extensors involved in their conventional deadlifts. And that's really, to do, that's really easy to do so. You just squat more, you just bend your knees further and bring your knees forward and you'll be able to use your legs more. But this comes with a trade-off. You'll see, we'll come around here, if I take my deadlift, conventional deadlift stance, as soon as I go to bend my knees to bring my quadriceps into the action, look what the bar does. That pushes the bar forward, right? So I could be in my deadlift set up like this, which looks really good because I'm using my quads. This is, I'm almost squatting and I'm getting my quads involved. But the problem is, the bar's really far away from me. And as we know, the further away it is away from you, the harder it becomes, the moment arms, moment arms get bad and a whole bunch of other stuff goes on. So that's really the problem with conventional deadlifting. There's a trade-off. You want to be close to the bar like this, but obviously like this, you're not really using your quads. So you want to bend your knees, but the further you bend your knees, the less, uh, the further away the bar gets. So there's this trade-off with right? how much quadricep activation do you want versus how far are you willing to have the bar in front of you. There's this trade-off and you have to really kind of pick one side, otherwise you're not going to get the benefit. Now what makes the sumo deadlift so great is that you can actually get your quadriceps involved without pushing the bar forward. That's the major benefit of a sumo deadlift compared to the conventional. It's that you can bend your knees without knocking the bar forward. And you're gonna see that here. So the bar's set up, I can come up really close to the bar. So maybe come a bit closer and you can see how my shins are pretty much touching the bar there. Yeah. And you can see that I'm gonna drop my hips, I'm gonna bend my knees, but it won't knock the bar forward. Take a look. I can do this. Because when I bend my knees in this stance, rather than my knees pushing forward and pushing the bar forward, what's actually happening, as you can obviously tell, is that my knees are going out. So it's really important that when you do your sumo deadlifts, you bend your knees, you use your quads, and more importantly, you push your knees out and back, not forward. The amount of times that you see, you'll see a lot of sumo deadlifters deadlift like this, where rather than pushing their knees out, they let their knees come forward, looks like this, you might have seen this stance before. And this really like, defeats the purpose of the sumo deadlift. What makes the sumo deadlift so good is that you can push your knees out. But if you push your knees forward, look at that, it just pushes the bar forward. You're better off pushing your knees out and back, and you can keep the bar right up against your legs throughout the lift. So the bar starts on the ground really close to your body, right over the base of support, over your feet. But also, you get the benefit of using your legs. Again, that's the major difference between the sumo and the conventional. In the conventional deadlift, you can't use your quadriceps, you can't use your knee extensors to help contribute to the lift. Whereas in the sumo deadlift, you can if you do it properly. So if you're having trouble with using your quads in your sumo deadlift or spreading the floor or leg drive or anything, anything like that, what you really need to be doing is making sure that your, I guess your feet are turned out to the right extent to allow your knees to travel out when you come down. Okay, really, really important that your knees come out and that's gonna enable you to stay upright, use your legs off the ground. Compared to doing this, where your feet are more forward and your knees are forward, this is more of a semi-sumo slash, it's really just a conventional or wide stance, okay? All right, so make sure you're doing that in your training. Have a go uh, with your sumo deadlifts and really driving your knees out. You really need to understand that the knees out in a sumo deadlift is really more knees back. Just having your knees back means the bar gets closer. It's really different to the knees out that you get in a squat. That's, that's uh, virus for a completely different reason, but. That's for another time. So if that helps you, please uh, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about that, yeah, again, comment below and I'll, and I'll get back to you. If you've got any suggestions for 
kind of videos like this you want me to do in the future, let me know as well and I'll get back to you. Thanks guys. It's playing, isn't it? <laughs> so I can just always cut this bit out. Yeah, okay, it's playing. Alright, what am I saying? Hey guys, JP here. What's up? Uh, today I'm going to show you a little... Ah, uh, no, start again. See, I fucking like... Hey guys, welcome. <laughs> 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 Alright, go again. Is this one video? <laughs> hey guys, JP here. Today what we're going to... You just covered the camera with your finger now. <laughs> that guy thinks he can deadlift, <laughs> conventional, but he can't. You should see me. Go away. Joey, come back! How the fuck did you get a bicycle? Holy crap. I'm running like a bicycle person. Oh my god.